next we are going to see how to find the equation of a plane if three points on the plane are given. Consider the problem. Find the plane through A001, B200 and C030. We can find vector AB as Q vector I plus 0 vector J minus vector K. And vector AC is 0 vector I plus 3 vector J minus vector K. Then both vector AB and vector AC are vectors lying on the plane. So if we find the cross product of these two vectors, we get the vector vector AB cross vector AC which will be normal to the plane. So we can let vector N as vector AB cross vector AC which is equal to 3 vector I plus 2 vector J plus 6 vector K. To find the equation for a plane, we need two things. A vector perpendicular to the plane and a point on the plane. We have already get a, a vector perpendicular to the plane. Take any of the three points as P not X not Y not Z not. Here I take it to be 0, 0, 1. So we have the values of A, B, C, X0, Y0 and Z0. Substituting this values in plane's equation A into X minus X0 plus B into Y minus Y0 plus C into Z minus Z0 equal to 0. And simplifying we have 3X plus 2Y plus 6Z equal to 6. Next is the intersection of a line and a plane. Consider the problem. Find the point where the line x equal to 8 by 3 plus 2t, y equal to minus 2t, z equal to 1 plus t intersect the plane 3x plus 2y plus 6z equal to 6. Any point on the line is of the form x, y, z equal to 8 by 3 plus 2t minus 2t 1 plus t. If this point lie on the plane then this x y z must satisfy the equation for the plane. Substituting for x y z in plane's equation we have 3 into 8 by 3 plus 2t plus 2 into minus 2t plus 6 into 1 plus t equal to 6. Simplifying we get t equal to minus 1. So at t equal to minus 1 the line intersect with the plane. To find the coordinate of the point of intersection put t equal to minus 1 the equations for x, y and z. It is at the t equal to minus 1 x, y, z equal to 8 by 3 minus 2t that is 8 by 3 minus 2, 2t that is 2 into sorry minus 2 into minus 1, 2 and 1 plus t that is t equal to minus 1, 1 minus 1 so which is equal to 2 by 3, 2, 0 which is the point of intersection of the line and plane. Next we are going to find the distance from a point to a plane. To find the distance from a point S to a plane AX plus BY plus CZ equal to D we have to find three things. First one is a point P on the line. Second one vector PS. Third one the direction of vector N equal to A vector I plus B vector J plus C vector K. From the equation of the plane it is clear that vector n is normal to the plane. Then the distance d equal to modulus of vector ps dot vector n divided by magnitude of vector n. Consider the problem. Find the distance from s113 to the plane 3x plus 2y plus 6z equal to 6. We find a point 
P in the plane and calculate the length of the vector projection Ps onto a vector vector n normal to the plane. The coefficients in the equation 3x plus 2y plus 6z equal to 6 gives the vector perpendicular to the plane that is vector n to be 3 vector i plus 2 vector j plus 6 vector k. Then magnitude of vector n equal to square root of 3 square plus 2 square plus 6 square. This is equal to square root of 9 plus 4 plus 36 equal to root 49 equal to 7. Vector n divided by magnitude of vector n equal to 3 by 7 vector i plus 2 by 7 vector j plus 6 by 7 vector k. The point on the plane is easiest to find from the plane's equation or the intercepts with the coordinate axis x, y and z. Putting x equal to 0 and z equal to 0 in the equation of the plane, we get the y intercepts. Suppose uh, putting x equal to 0 and z equal to 0, we have 2y equal to 0 that is y equal to 3. Thus we obtain the point of intersection of the plane with y axis as p 0 3 0. Now we can find vector ps which is equal to vector i minus 2 vector j plus 3 vector k. Then vector ps dot vector n divided by magnitude of vector n equal to 17 by 7. So the distance from s to the plane d equal to modulus of vector ps dot vector n divided by magnitude of vector n which is equal to modulus of 17 by 7 equal to 17 by 7.